So today's video will be a little different from a lot of the other ones that I've done. We'll be looking at drum programming as opposed to uh, sound design. We will be programming some grime drums similar to this pattern. This is a bit more similar to kind of older grime, sort of uh, rough squads, Dizzy Rascal, kind of early Wiley productions, as opposed to kind of the newer trap influenced grime, although a lot of the things uh, that I'll be showing here will be applicable to those kind of um, beats as well. So let's get rid of everything here. So delete these, we'll also delete the groove. We've got a kit here with a few samples in. So the kind of essential parts of uh, the grime drum kit for me are the kit, clap, um, shaker and a closed hi-hat. You notice we're using a clap instead of a snare. You can also use a snare. You can use a clap and a snare as well, but for this pattern, I'm just gonna use a clap to keep it simple. You can also choose to add a tambourine sample and kind of open hi-hats as well, which you see there's an open hi-hat here. What I'm looking for when I make these kind of sample selections is sort of different depending on the sample. But for the kick, for example, I want it to be kind of a bit dull. You don't really want a really bright transient on it because it's just not very common in, in grind to hear that. Um, you want quite a hard hitting clap, quite kind of bright. And you generally want the samples to be very tight. So you don't want them to have a lot of decay. So one of the housekeeping things that I'll do is I'll just make sure the samples start right at the beginning with the playhead. Um, so I've done most of these already. Maybe that could be dragged forward a little bit. I'm using them all in one shot mode. If you do need to tighten them up, you can use classic and you can mess with the K sustain release to tighten the samples up a little bit. Just make sure that you keep the voices to one uh, so you don't have multiple versions of the same sample triggering at the same time. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna create a new MIDI region, uh, two bars in length. So that is Control Shift M or Command Shift M. And then Command L, so loop. We are gonna change the grid size to 16th notes. The reason we're doing this is because the 16th note grid is very amenable to making grime because a lot of the patterns are kind of based around 16th notes in some way or other. And that'll kind of become a bit clearer as, as I'm programming the beat. So for the kick, I'm just gonna use a very simple pattern on the first beat of every bar. You can obviously do something more complex I'm just trying to keep things as simple as possible in this uh, tutorial though. I also sort of want to focus on the other elements of the kit more, the claps, the shakers, uh, hi-hats, because I feel they're a bit more essential to making grime drums. For the clap, uh, I'm going to sort of use the basic grime pattern, which is one clap on the second beat and then two sixteenth notes afterwards and then duplicate that over. So you might kind of instantly recognize that as sort of like a Pulse X style clap pattern. It's a similar pattern, but you're moving the first clap to the third beat instead of the second beat. Uh, but for today, I'm choosing this one. We can also now duplicate the loop and drag it out just because I want to add a little fill at the end here. So as I mentioned before, this pattern is a little bit inspired by Pulse X. So I'm going to basically put a shaker across the hi-hats on individual 16th notes. So from the second to the third beat and do this for all of them. Um, so that already kind of instantly sounds quite grimy. Another thing that we can do is we can start to put other shakers and hi-hats around. So maybe use eighth notes this time. And then if you want to kind of fill in the gap. You can do that. Maybe get rid of 
rid of this, these ones. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to split up the um, kit. So on this one, I'm going to delete everything that isn't a kick or a clap. And then on this, one, I'm going to delete everything aside from the high percussion. So basically just the kicks and claps. A useful thing you can do to tighten these up as well is if you go, normally this won't be open, but if you click um, on the IO here uh, and you select all the samples and you choose a choke group, what the choke group will do is whenever a new sound is played, the previous sample will be cut, so everything sounds a bit tighter. Another thing we can also do, just because at the moment it sounds very, very straight, so we can add a groove. So normally I go to the packs and appropriately I'll use the um, garage grooves. So double click, uh, select all, double click on those, and then it sounds like a mess. So usually to take the timing and the velocity down to about 20 or 30%, it will get a bit more manageable, but it will still add enough of an element of groove. One thing you want to do with the high percussion as well is that you want to pan the individual hits. So shaker here. Usually I pan them about 25% to either side. I mean, we'll listen. So that's the shakers on the right side. So probably put the hat on the left side. Open hat maybe on the um, left side as well. Should we do on the right? You can also notice that I've added a saturator afterwards just to give things a bit more grit and a bit more aggression. Um, and the final thing I'm going to do is I've got some reverb on send and I'm just going to mix it in. And that's kind of your basic fundamental um, grind, pat grind pattern. Obviously, there's a lot of things that you can do around that. Um, I just kind of wanted to make this video as simple as possible. Um, and basically understandable for beginners but hopefully even if you've been maybe making this style for a while you might have taken something from uh, from this video uh, that's useful but yeah that's it i uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial um i'll make this midi um available uh, so that you can just drag it in and, and add your own samples my preset packs available uh, below the video if you kind of want good range of, of serum presets for this style and sort of other related styles um I might do another drum program video more on kind of garage drums as well. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.